My name is Aris Peterson. My best friend Ariel and I have decided to embark on this journey together, to document, to follow, to share with you all the lives of those who want to pursue their dreams, even though the odds are against them. Mississippi has something to say, something to sing, something to write, something to build. But ultimately, we have something to prove. That is, never underestimate the dark horse. Spilling my heart on pages and tricking my brain with Vegas. I'm treating my niggas daily with promises we gon' make it. Cause saying that it's okay don't suffice when you're chasing greatness. But that's my ass fault. Yeah, a nigga been chasing pavements. Huh. Adele, ho. Go to jail? Hell no. They send me to a cell if they see what's on my cell phone. I guess I feel like it's a disadvantage when you come from Mississippi just because we have a lot of talent, but we're not broadcasted, I guess, from the stereotypes and all that. But at the end of the day, that just means we have to work 10 times harder to make it out of Mississippi, but that's gonna help us in the long run just cause we gonna end up lasting 10 times longer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think if a Mississippi artist makes it, or all the ones that have end up becoming legendary just for the fact that they worked twice as hard to get there than anybody else coming out of major cities where it's easier to be heard. college for art. She was a photographer. She came down to the South to photograph racial reconciliation movement that this guy named John Perkins started. And we have photographs all over the house. And I see her doodling all the time. I see her trying to keep her creative juices flowing. And that growing up, that kind of, she raised me on that. My foundation art was my mother. And it kind of I saw maybe this is what I need to be. That's how I thought life was, was art. And growing up, I kind of did see life as art, but I took it and ran with it in my own way. And like Kendrick Lamar said, the game chose me, what am I to do? The only thing I did wrong was make it possible. So the art game chose me, I just made it possible. <laughs> Growing up in Jackson wasn't too exciting, so you know I would make the best out of it and still do to travel uh, to go see concerts and bands and festivals. Um, I've worked Bonnaroo in 2008, Austin City Limits, Wakarusa. I've been to, uh, just got back from Austin City Limits like two weeks ago, and so I'm spending all the money that I'm making playing music t for people to go see people play music for me. So it's kind of a recurring, uh, you know sick, sad little spiral that I'm in. It's, it's beautiful though, I, I love it. In current time, there's definitely like a, a ceiling that I feel like, that I've hit with what I'm doing in Starkville and I'm ready to kind of push that to the next level. I'm always trying to uh, push things to the next level and really challenge myself and everyone else to do as, you know, as good of a job and whatever it is that they're doing. Original genius. The way I spit it, I should be locked up, give me subpoenas. Cause while they was out trying to mac and sell rocks, I was somewhere learning, being a genius. That's why I don't call myself original gangster. I never had a gun, never had one in the chain. But the girls I mess with, some of them I know. But most of the time when I go out, they all be strangers. They equal danger. So I only give them my number, but I never hit them back unless the middle of the summer. <laughs> Being in Mississippi, being an artist, when you have your heart in it 100%, it is a disadvantage because most of the places that put out artists, they powerhouses. So we have to go three times as hard and we still get overlooked. But we got little radio, mom and pop stations. We got violated DJs, of course. They all rock with us, but they know at the end of the day what the industry want to hear. And that ain't what we want to make. We just need to be heard. Like, I feel like if people listen more to artists from the South, not even just Mississippi, from the South, period. Cats with their struggle and their, their real love for the art and their voice. Hip-hop wouldn't be dead, bro. We're still alive right now. It's just sleep. The 
probably comes a point in every musician's life where he realizes it's do or die and you're going to do music or do nothing else. I mean, that's how I feel about it. And then die either way. Yeah. So, eventually, yeah. You might as well have fun and take a chance because the music industry is just full of nonsense. So you might as well do what you want. Historically, uh, the blues is from Mississippi and rock and roll came out of Mississippi. So as long as Mississippi bands are being themselves, they're born in a place where this music that was rooted here changed the world. I mean, so, I mean, it depends on how far away you're trying to go from that genre. Um, if you're working somewhere in that genre, though, I think it's uh, creatively an advantage being from Mississippi. And every, most super famous bands and musicians are from nowhere places anyway. That's the only reason they have the motivation to push forward. I don't believe that your location defines you. You know, as an artist from Mississippi, we, we're currently trying to find our niche within the media and society, and, and you know, there's not enough attention brought to Mississippi, not even just limited to Mississippi, but the South, period. And, you know, I know so many different talented people from around here, but they don't get enough recognition because they don't live in big places like New York City and Los Angeles or, Chicago or wherever you may find talent or so-called talent and as many people that I see struggle on a day-to-day -day basis trying to dance on that line between their dreams and their reality they constantly let their location define them and their talent and I think that's what we're trying to do with this project we're, we're trying to to show that talent is beyond those bigger cities or, or tri-city areas or wherever you know, we, we want to prove that Mississippi does indeed have raw, good talent that we can bring to the table in the media. They are the rappers with samples of hometown blues, the artists capturing auburn reds and yellowing greens, soloists with soulful covers, and masters of music mixing in small town clubs. Even the pianist, guitar player, vocalist, and drummer embracing the southern heartbeat. But they are determined to prove that more than fried food and lemonade can come from their hospitality state. The home of jazz and rhythm and blues, Redefining Mississippians is the goal, so Webster can say they're artists with soul.